So uh, I want to show something interesting. It's a new uh, platform called ZeroNet, and um, it allows you. Uh, there's like a fancy wording on the website, um, but beyond those words, it's basically a way to create and, and distribute uh, uh, content or websites on the internet without a centralized uh, server. Um, so what it means is that uh, all the content is actually saved on my laptop, <clears throat> my machine. And if somebody goes to my website, then the content is being uh, uh, pulled from my laptop. Uh, it's a peer-to-peer -peer network uh, into um, into the, view, the visitor's uh, uh, hard drive laptop. So now my content of the site exists on multiple places and all my peers are basically helping me to keep the site alive. And if I have a bunch of peers that are keeping it, I actually uh, don't need to be online anymore. Uh, so what you do is you first go to ZeroNet if you want to play with it, uh, zeronet.io, um, and you download the executable, and then you just uh, run it. Um, it just, just to give you a background, it, it was created by a guy, literally one, one person, uh, um, took him, I think, maybe half half a year, and he was uh, just uh, announced it in the recent uh, decentralized uh, web conference on something like this a few days ago in San Francisco, uh, and it was uh, pretty amazing. Uh, uh, there's a video somewhere, uh, maybe I'll link it later on. But uh, let's show you how to uh, basically run it first. So you first install uh, or download the, this executable, and uh, it's called zeronet.sh. You just run it. It will open the browser for me and that's the home page and you can see on the left side a bunch of sites some of them here are the first six seven uh, were created by the, the creator there's like email called the zero mail there is talk which is a kind of like a reddit clone uh, this is message board this is identity this one is a blog platform there's a bunch of stuff here look you see those icons updating this is random people that also build stuff and updating their websites right um, so I created my own little site uh, uh, about an hour ago, and this is my site. If I click here, uh, sorry, this is my blog here, uh, and I just wrote "Hello World." And let's add, let's create a new new post. Second post. Uh, that's a built-in application that came with this platform, so you can just clone a blog and start blogging. And here I wrote down like, hey, this is my website. And I took my existing website and right now it's hosted on GitHub and I just moved it, copied it here. It's basically HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Um, so yeah, and it's uh, running now on this platform. Notice the URL is interesting here. Um, so it's local host, it's like my machine because it's running a local web server with this port. Uh, and then this is interesting, this uh, key here, that's my public, uh, um, the public uh, key actually of my site so when you create a site uh, you get a public and private key and in order to update and publish a new content uh, you need to uh, to have your private key uh, and now this is also not just a zero uh, um, a z uh, zero net URL it's also a Bitcoin URL so I can actually potentially get paid um, this is pretty cool you can see how many people are peering Ooh, I have somebody who's peering my site so if I'm gonna shut down my uh, my local server, thanks to this person here, who's peering it, uh, other people can see it. So that's a, that's the distributed nature of, of and that's why it's kind of like a, can can a hard to censor uh, for you know dictatorship uh, uh, regimes. They're trying to censor people. That's gonna be hard for them because they have other people who are um, sharing the content, and it would be downloaded from this person's laptop. Thank you, Mister whoever you are. Uh, you can bunch of uh, update everything that you see here. Let's go to the home page. And if you click on this here, you see the home page, probably a lot of people are, uh, no, not too many. There's only a few uh, peers for the home page. Um, and if I go here, there's also mail platform here. Where's the mail? Zero talk, zero mail. Let's send something. Um, I don't know anybody here, so I'm gonna just uh, Rami. Hey, Rami. I don't know this Rami, but whatever. 
and I sent him something. Um, so yeah, and um, uh, let's show you. Uh, I want to show you how to um, uh, or the file system it is created for me. So first of all, to update, create a new site, you just go and run the executable with the site create. Uh, and then you get this, uh, that's not my private key, by the way, but you get the private key and you get uh, the address, which is the public key. <clears throat> and then it, every time you make a change, all you do is you click on, you, you run this command called site sign with your public key and um, to ask you for the private key, obviously, and then you publish it. And then you need to run uh, again the, the, the local web server and you can see it. And basically what happens is that every time you run the create uh, site create command it creates uh, a folder for you with the private with the public key so my site for example is here all right that's my website it's just html with some css and stuff and you can see that every time i go to another website it downloads the content of the other website so let's see what this is somebody else's website that's the blog demo so it down everything to my local machine right i won't be able to update this stuff because it's not mine right unless i have the private key uh, but yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, so um, I want to show you. Uh, and there's a good presentation here on, on Reddit. I just found it um, about zero net, what, what it is basically, right? Um, so how does it work? Private and public keys. Uh, the cryptography is very similar to uh, the way that the Bitcoin wallet is using. It's called the elliptic curve. Um, so when you go to somebody's website, there's some interaction with the bitter and tracker, and eventually you download the content from the website, that the arrows that you see here, and there's something called a, a JSON file, content.json. You can see that there's a SHA, a hash for a, each of the content. Each of the uh, files uh, has a, a specific uh, SHA. And then uh, you get all the stuff to your local, local machine from uh, the other person. And the updates signing the content and so on so that's a good good presentation to watch on, on reddit and this is the official documentation you can see uh, how to create a website how to update the site it's pretty cool so yeah zero net i think uh, i covered most of the stuff but i'm sure there's way more stuff to discover um so yeah check it out